on dirt racing news at the Can-Am Motorsports Park in Lafargeville, New York, standing alongside the winner and now the current points leader of the Go Nuclear Late Model Series race, Charlie Sandercock. Uh, Charlie, uh, you guys got out front early in this one, and uh, as we talked a little bit, I pretty much checked out into another zip code in this one. You guys are on a roll tonight. Uh, right from the get-go, you won your heat race. Uh, take us through the night uh, as a whole and why this car was so good. Uh, we just we had a bad draw to start off tonight, but I knew that we just had to stick with the guns and do what we've been doing down here and just carry the momentum from the last couple weeks racing down here and we started the heat race and we got a good line and we ended up out front and uh, brought home the heat race win and then uh, I knew in the feature it was just was starting 34 cars it was going to be a survival race and uh, let's try and stay out of the wrecks or whatever and end up uh, wreck happened behind us and uh, it sucks for all the guys that get involved hopefully everyone's all right I think everyone's all right cars are a little bit damaged but that happens I guess but uh, it was just kind of let's set a pace and carry on and hey, we ended up on top tonight. Lap 16 wreck that happened behind you that took out I believe uh, 10 or 12 cars uh, in the field. Were you aware of, of how bad uh, the, the wreck was behind you or uh, had you guys already got it through the back stretch by the time everything happened in turn one? Uh, I kind of figured it started at the beginning of the pack right away just because I knew because the caution flag was out before I was out of turn two so I knew it happened pretty uh, close to the front of the field so um, and then when we stopped you could see all piles of cars everywhere so it sucks for those guys and uh, hopefully we can all get them back together and be up for the next one. This track is kind of one of your two home tracks. Uh, how much does running here on, on Friday nights regularly help you here this evening? I think it was a huge advantage for tonight's race just because we've, we've got the car dialed in to run here and we basically came out just with our uh, normal setup of what we have been running and it has seemed to be um, seem to work out for us tonight. Now take us through those first couple laps. You made the pass for the lead on the bottom side of the speedway and then uh, once you got out front uh, you moved to the top side for the rest of the night. Uh, what made you go to the bottom to make that pass for the lead? Uh, it was, I've always liked to run the top side and we kind of made the pass as Sean was running up top so we just kind of didn't really have a choice but to go elsewhere and we went to the bottom and then the car just felt good up top so that's where we stuck for the rest of the night. Much shorter racetrack uh, tomorrow night, obviously back at, at Brighton Speedway where you're the points leader there as well. What do you do maybe to, to refocus it and go to, to, to a, a much shorter track, obviously? Uh, we're just, we'll do the same thing we have been doing over the past uh, couple months. Just um, regroup tomorrow and get everything lined up, ready to go, and uh, load the other car in the trailer and bring it out. And hopefully we can keep our ball rolling over there as well. A ton of names on the side of this race car that helps you guys uh, run on both tracks every week. I'm sure there's people you'd love to thank. Well, I got to thank, first of all, all my crew and all my sponsors. If it wasn't for those guys, we wouldn't be here every week. Um, Paul Crowder came on board with our race team last year and um, has really stepped up our game uh, 100%. And uh, Deerhaven Farm and Gardens, Bellevue Fabricating, Newnham Enterprises, Excel Tower Service, uh, Jeff Harrison Farms, Image Landscaping, Ibox Springs, uh, Victory Motorcycles, uh, C. Smith Automotive Machine Shop, uh, CCS, and Performance Auto Sales, all the guys that help us out that I forgot. And number one is the crew. If it wasn't for the crew, then I wouldn't be able to come down here and focus on the race ca car and the track to uh, drive the car. And they use those guys just kind of take care of the car weekly for me. And there we are. Congratulations again, Charlie. Thanks for this. Thank you very much. At the Canada Motorsports in Lafargeville, New York, for On Dirt Racing News, I'm Clayton Johns.